ten dollar cookies all you have to do is start out with one cup of unsalted butter and three quarters cup of granulated sugar a quarter cup of light brown sugar now you're going to divide an egg and only put the egg yolk in mix it up and add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix it up from there you're going to add in two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour three quarter teaspoon of salt a half teaspoon of cream of tartar and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon get it all in there and mix it. Nene's got the beat. Mix it up really good until it forms a good cookie dough. Then you're going to take that cookie dough and put it on some saran wrap. Wrap her up, flatten it out a bit, and then you're going to put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes how easy is that I remember as a child walking along the beach finding sand dollars but I've never had a sand dollar cookie now that the dough is chilled all you have to do is flour your area grab your rolling pin and roll that dough out to about a quarter of an inch thickness. Take your round cookie cutter out and cook the round, or not cook yet, but cut out round shapes. Put them on your cookie sheet that I have parchment paper on. Here I had a little extra dough, so I didn't want to waste any of that cookie dough, so I rolled it out and made one more and yeah I did find a spot that I can make it fit now after you have them all on your cookie sheet take your egg white and put it on your cookies sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon sugar on top now you're going to take some almonds and go around the edges of your cookie with the almond halves to make it look like a sand dollar. I have a feeling my grandkids are going to love these when they come over today. Here they are done after cooking for about 10 minutes at 375 degrees. And voila, you've got a sand dollar. <laughs>